the show. Brian Alvarez here, uh, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Well, it looks like everyone just wants to know about WWE New Japan. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. I don't know everything that's going on, but I'll I'll tell you what I know here. So first, we add from the uh, from the new edition of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. This actually is from the front page of WrestlingObserver.com. WWE President Nick Khan has been in talks with New Japan Pro Wrestling about WWE becoming New Japan's exclusive American partner. Dave Meltzer reported in this week's Observer Newsletter, the talks regarding the potential partnership date back to March or early April, but there's no indication where the discussions are currently at. If talks go anywhere, the deal would include WWE sending talent, including top stars, to work in New Japan. New Japan has normally worked with the Ring of Honor as their American partner during the pandemic, however. New Japan has also formed relationships with All Elite Wrestling and Impact Wrestling. Yuji Nagata appeared earlier this month on AEW Dynamite, and Kojima appeared on this week's episode of Impact Wrestling. Meltzer wrote the following, and what could end up being among the biggest wrestling stories of the year, or a non-story, <laughs> depending on the end result, Nick Khan has been in talks with New Japan Pro Wrestling about WWE being the exclusive American partner with the promotion. Right now, New Japan has been working with AEW and Impact and has had a relationship with CMLL and Ring of Honor, but things have slowed down with those companies since COVID. Obviously, there are a million questions regarding such a deal if this was to happen, and there are no indications where talks are past they date back to late March or early April. It's now the end of May. But it would include WWE sending talent and WWE top stars being allowed to work in New Japan if talks go anywhere. With Khan, the former isolationist attitude of WWE versus everyone is changing with the idea WWE is part of the wrestling landscape and not separate from the pro wrestling landscape. I don't doubt that that's what they're talking about, but I will believe it when I see it. I've heard Hunter say this a million times during, we're, we're, uh, we're open to anything. Well, I mean, that's nice to say, but I have no indication, zero, zilch, that you're open to working with anybody else. I've seen zero evidence of that whatsoever. Obviously, it's also to keep New Japan away from working with other companies, which could strengthen the opposition and also be a factor with WWE gunning for the same talent, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, today, on uh, PW Insider... There was also a note here from Mike Johnson. He says, There was a report earlier today from Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer about WWE reaching out to New Japan Pro Wrestling about a potential working agreement. Since that report began making the rounds, we've heard from a number of readers asking whether there is anything to it. We are told there is and there isn't. PWInsider.com has been told today by sources from each company that there have been communications between the two sides for several months. But, he writes, the main crux of it was over the potential of Daniel Bryan being able to potentially work some dates in New Japan. Whether anything has come from these discussions remains to be seen. And there's more, but that was the main thing that I wanted to read right there. And I bring that up because if you read Dave's report... Reading, of course, is your friend, and sometimes you have to read it between the lines. Dave mentions nothing about New Japan stars coming to WWE. That doesn't mean that that would not be part of a working agreement, but as he writes about it, he's specifically writing about top WWE stars being allowed to work New Japan. Now, if you put all of this stuff together, I mean, it's very clear that a portion of this story if you if you uh, go by what Mike Johnson is saying the majority of the story if you go by what Dave is saying maybe not the majority of the story but it appears abundantly clear that a portion of this story is that Daniel Bryan wants to be able to work New Japan clearly based on Mike Johnson's story Daniel Bryan has talked to WWE about this and WWE in turn has begun to talk to New Japan about this. Now, as you note here, in Dave's story, it mentions that WWE wants to be the exclusive partner of New Japan. 
Well, why would they want that? Well, it seems abundantly clear if you start putting the pieces of this story together. Daniel Bryan would like to work for New Japan Pro Wrestling. Regardless of what WWE has stated here, you think that WWE is okay with the idea that Daniel Bryan goes to New Japan and wrestles John Moxley for the IWGP US title? You think they're cool with the idea of Chris Jericho having his working agreement with New Japan and somehow Daniel Bryan ends up there and ends up doing a match with Chris Jericho of AEW? It sounds to me that the crux of the issue here is they want to be able to offer Daniel Bryan the ability to go to New Japan, but they do not want him working with anybody from AEW or anybody probably from anywhere else. So that is what I believe the crux of this issue is right here. Do I believe that New Japan and WWE are very close to a working agreement that would allow New Japan and WWE guys to go back and forth regularly? I do not believe that at all. Maybe they are, but I don't buy that. I look at this story, and I'm trying to think of one way, one, that a New Japan WWE working agreement would not be a hilarious disaster. I can't think of one. But clearly there is a discussion going on, or there was a discussion going on. I don't know where it is right now. Daniel Bryan's contract has expired. I mean, uh, God only knows what this guy's decision is going to be. I mean, I think that he would be willing to stay with WWE if they let him do New Japan dates. And who knows? Maybe he wants to do dates all over the place. But, I mean, it's the same deal. If he wants to do a date somewhere where an AEW guy could also do a date there, I do not believe for one second that WWE is going to be cool with that idea. So I guess we could wait and see. We should wait and see. We will wait and see. But I, I do feel that this is not as far along as a lot of fans are, I guess, in fear that it is. But we shall see. Hilariously overblown? Would that be a good way I would to say not it? say hilariously overblown. Are you sure about that? Well, I mean, here's the thing. This is just like when uh, the forbidden door was cracked open with AEW, okay? <laughs> Remember when the Forbidden Door was cracked open and everybody started doing all of this fantasy booking and Okada's going to come here and Omega's going to wrestle Ibushi at the Dome and they were just going out of their minds? And I was like, bro, let's calm down here. We got one guy that went over. Like, let's just relax. And in fact, what I said was exactly what happened. We had one guy go over and then nothing. And now the Forbidden Door is again cracked and we had Nagata wrestling on Dynamite. But it certainly is not like a full-fledged, and obviously some of that is because Japan is a COVID disaster right now. And maybe, like, when Japan opens up, we will see that. But every, what everybody was thinking when they heard that story, if you are thinking that sort of WWE New Japan working agreement is right around the corner, yes, I would say that's hilariously overblown. Would I say there's nothing to it? No, because obviously there was something to it with AEW and New Japan. But everybody needed to temper their expectations, which is what I said, and I was right about it. I think you also need to temper your expectations about this story here. I just, I don't, the whole thing is, is funny to me. Denny Burkholder, I like his idea of Otis versus Yano. There you go, a battle of, of ladder match uh, enthusiasts uh, that those two have been in the past. Unfortunately, it didn't work out too well for Otis. But uh, yeah, this is stupid. This is so stupid. Daniel Bryan, I mean, immediately, as soon as this happens, everybody has lost their mind. New Japan is crazy. They're the, what What are they doing? They, they've they really lost their touch. Where's Harold May? They can't do this. What about Vince? That, and then this report comes out about maybe most of this has got to do with Daniel Bryan. I don't know how this is going to work with Daniel Bryan and WWE. He wants to go work everywhere. There are going to be people on Arena Mexico shows in England, in Japan, in Germany, in Australia, wherever he wants to go. There's going to be non-WWE people on that show. There is going to be a conflict of interest, I'm sure, in a bunch of places if you're WWE. So if you're WWE, either sign him or that's it. Daniel Bryan can go do what he wants, and I have a feeling that probably we're not going to be talking about any relationship between New Japan and WWE, but I guess we'll have to see how things play out. Back in a moment with more Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure 4 Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows 
all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.